Exactly one year back, this was my dream lead code profile wall. Fast forward to today, this is actually my lead code profile. And just one thing is helping me make it a reality that is showing up every day. So if you're someone who's struggling to maintain consistency in your DSA practice, then this video is for you. Hello everyone, my name is Pratum. I'm an MTech Computer Science student at IIIT Hyderabad and in this video, I'll be discussing four things that I've learned and improved in the last one year journey of doing lead code every day. The first and the most important is understanding what consistency is. This is not what consistency looks like. This is how it actually looks like. You need to understand that being consistent does not necessarily mean solving exactly three questions every day especially when you're looking over a bigger span of time. Even for me, there were days when I had my assignment deadlines and my semester exams, but I still used to open my laptop and put an effort to solve at least one question. Whereas on some days, especially during semester breaks, I've also put in four or five hours in a single day. So what I'm trying to convey is that you need to be flexible in your practice based on your current routine, but at the same time have a bare minimum bottleneck to maintain, which in my case was solving at least one question. Now the second very obvious thing which comes up is how to actually build this habit of showing up every day. Uh, I understand that all of this might seem easier said than done. Hence, I would like to share my own lead code journey. Before being able to maintain this coding streak for a year, I failed twice in being consistent on lead code. Firstly, this happened in 2020 when I was in my third year of BTEC and that time I was completely new to DSA. I started off well, I was able to solve easy problems, but as the level of problems shifted to medium and more DSA concepts came in, I didn't even know how to approach the question and I quit in the middle. For the second time, I resumed practicing lead code in 2021 as the final year placements approached. I focused majorly on medium level problems this time and I tried to cover more topics instead of going in depth because of the time crunch. But once I got placed in my first company, which I remember it was SAP Labs, followed by another offer from Cisco for a networking role, my attention shifted towards the gate exam, causing a break in my consistency again. Now, here's an interesting graph which I feel shows the very true learning curve of DSA. At first, you feel like everything's going well, but as time passes and more DSA concepts come in, the curve starts declining and it hits a bottom where you may feel overwhelmed and consider quitting. But it is at this bottom where if you still keep moving forward despite feeling dumb, you would surpass the majority of crowd that fails to master DSA. Sadly, even I could not come out of that zone in my first attempt. Eventually, after cracking gate and accepting an MTech offer from AAA Hyderabad in June 2022, I knew that I would have to appear in the internship drives as soon as I joined college. Hence, I decided to resume lead code once again. This time, I had a significant reason to maintain my consistency because I knew that I won't be able to take out a lot of time for DSA once my first sem begins. Uh, as the academics here at IIITH are considered pretty hectic, especially when you're coming from a college where you did nothing in your BTEC. Uh, and in this situation, lead code daily problems came to my rescue. These are basically the problems provided one each day by lead code itself, and it is supposed to be solved within 24 hours. So this forced me to build a habit of coding regularly so that I can keep that daily streak similar to how we are crazy for the Snapchat streaks. It's been one year since then, I solved over 600 problems given around 30 contests and currently I'm in the top 10% lead code users across the world. All of this while maintaining a streak of 365 days. You can definitely take the help of lead code daily problems for building this habit. But you should be doing them only once you have covered all the topics since I feel that the problems given in it are randomly shuffled with varying difficulty levels. So the answer to your question of how to show up every day lies in the reason why you're actually doing DSA. It took me three attempts because each of the time my reason was not strong enough for a longer run. For the final attempt, my reason was fulfilled and I've actually grabbed a summer internship offer which I'll be sharing on LinkedIn soon. So if you haven't connected with me over there, I'll leave a link to my profile in the description. Now coming back to the coding part. The third thing I've learned is absolving, absolving and absolving. I cannot emphasize enough on the fact that how important absolving is. Now this can be done in two ways. First is when you're not able to solve a problem in a contest and you make sure to look at a solution or editorial right after the contest is over. 
This is important because until and unless you stay in your comfort zone and avoid to understand newer problems and solve them, I can bet that you won't be able to improve your DSA. And the second way to absolve is when you have been able to solve a problem, but you look at more optimal ways to do it. I, I understand that the natural instinct right after solving the question is to move on to the next one. You feel very lazy to even look at other solution. But if you know multiple ways to approach a question, that will help you in case if you go wrong with any one of the approaches in a real interview. And not just this, seeing other people's code has also helped me get aware about writing clean code. That's very important in industry. And I've learned a lot of concepts and utilities available in C++ like inline functions, iterators, comparators, which I did not know earlier. Because of this, my code quality has improved. And the last, I guess another very important thing is giving contests. I've lately realized the power of giving contests regularly because when you have the pressure of a timer running in front of you while you solve a question, that helps you prepare for the actual online assessment environment. Not only that, contests will help you get comfortable with problems that you haven't encountered earlier. Also, you don't get to see any tag on a question in a contest that this one will be done using DP, this one, in, this one will involve binary search, unlike how you usually see tags on problems while practicing. So when you know that this question will be solved using binary search, you think only in that direction. But since you do not have that flexibility during a contest, you try to figure out yourself by thinking in multiple directions. So I would highly recommend you to appear in contests without worrying about the ratings initially. Uh, even if you see my graph, initially my rating dipped a lot, but when I kept on giving contests, especially in the last two months, the rating has improved significantly. And this kind of wrap ups my past one year learnings of doing liquid every day. Now, what have I planned next? Well, I'll probably pause Lead Code daily and focus on specifically strengthening more advanced topics of DSA. I'll also try to be more consistent with contests because unlike my previous semesters, I plan to take light courses in my next sem. With this, we come to the end of the video and if it has helped you get even the slightest of clarity on how to do DSA or Lead Code, then please do your part to like and share it in your network and do not forget to subscribe since I plan to share a few more of my very amazing journeys on the channel very soon and the channel has hit 1.5k subscriber recently so a big thanks to all of you for that also if you want me to create a video on a specific topic do let me know in the comments I read each one of your comments so don't worry until then take care of yourself and I'll meet you in the next video bye bye